Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are doing really well. Um, so for today's video, we're going to be doing a comparison between two really popular items from Louis Vuitton. And um, one of them is actually already a discontinued item. And one is, it's still on the website, but it's a little bit harder to find. So a lot of times you just have to get lucky to get this. Um, and the two items that are, I'm going to be talking about today is going to be the pochette accessoire in the favorite MM. And I have the favorite MM in a monogram and the pochette accessoire in damier azure. So let's see, let's talk about um, this one first. Um, I actually got this one a little bit later after I got my favorite MM and when I was looking for this I was actually looking for the monogram um, version um, just because it's a lot I don't know I think I was too freaked out by the idea of having anything white in my collection but I'm so glad that I have this one and I wouldn't have it any other way so um, this one right here the reason why we're comparing the two is because they are very similar as far as um, functionality so size wise you can tell that even though they're very close, the pochette accessoire is actually a little bit on the smaller side um, compared to the favorite MM, but you can put a lot of stuff in this. So um, don't let the size fool you. Uh, so for this one, it comes with a removable strap. And what I think a lot of people tend to do if they don't have the um, the favorite MM is that they can actually put a long, longer strap. So I think you can buy uh, the strap from different websites. I know, I think Dress Up Your Purse is one of them. I've never really shopped with them before, so I can't really um, tell you guys as far as like, you know, my experience, but I know Dress Up Your Purse is one. Um, there are multiple others. I know you can buy some, some longer strap from Amazon, but basically what I'm talking about is they would normally get a longer machete strap, which is very similar to what the favorite MM's strap is. So it's this one right here. Because um, they're very similar. The only difference is the size. And since I've had the favorite MM a little bit uh, older or longer, the, you can tell that the collar is also different, right? So the, there's a lot more um, patina on this one. But they usually would tend to, if they like, they would take this one right here and then attach the longer strap to this one. It essentially becomes more of a crossbody. And I'll show you guys that later. But anyway, so this one right here is um, the whole outside is, as you guys know, canvas. Um, I don't have the measurements with me here, but let's see. Um, taking a ruler, so for this one, the length of this is about nine inches, nine inches in length, and then height is about five five and a half so nine by five and a half by in the width or the, the depth can definitely vary so it's about two inches on the bottom and then as you go um, so two inches and then it goes to like one inch and then on the inside it's a cloth lining I don't know if they've ever had it where they actually had a leather lining i don't think that was the case but i could be very wrong um so this one right here is this particular one is a made in spain it's not really focusing is it made in spain um and on the inside there's nothing there's no tag or whatever and then there's just like one big pocket right there Okay, um, anyway, what else can I say? So I've had this for a couple months now and I've been really careful as far as kind of like, you know, what I will be wearing when I have this just because I don't want to have any 
issues with color transfer, but so far I've never had that um, problem. So let's go ahead and see what, um, what stuff we can put in here. Uh, what I would normally carry with me is some sort of like card holder. So at the moment I'm using my Gucci Supreme card holder and I've got a couple cards in there. And then I normally will take my key fob with me. So those two right there. And then let's see, or, well, a lot of times what I would do is probably have it standing because I would normally put my phone right here and I don't want it to be too bulky, which I don't have something to kind of like, let's show you guys know that the phone will fit in there, but it will. And then um, eye drops, lip balm, and sanitizer so they all fit let's see what else if you say for example want to bring a pochette matisse i oh, no, pochette matisse mini pochette will that fit in there i don't think it would i'll be very very tight of um of a fit so i wouldn't recommend that um, you can definitely put an additional card holder if you need to, two more, and then have your phone and those would fit, fit very comfortably. And you would close that. Um, and this is the strap that it came with. And normally what I would do is I would just have... attach this one so I would carry it like that and most of the time I would carry it kind of like on the clip of my arm so it fits it's really comfortable and um, that's kind of like one of the reasons why I wanted to get this is because it's comfortable it's very um, it's not big so I can easily put this in Charlotte's baby bag if I don't want to carry anything that's kind of like extra and it's just really easy to use. Um, so if you want to change the strap to the longer one, it's going to be very similar. It's just going to be longer. It would look like this. And that's also pretty thick. Okay, again, I'm 5'3". And that's kind of like where it plays. So it's, it's just, it's good. Like, I would totally wear it like that too. I just never had um i never had to do it but if you want to you totally can so that's why a lot of people really like the pochette accessoire because there's a lot of stuff that you can use you can make it a crossbody. you can take the strap and just use a shorter strap and then um it becomes more of a wristlet which i think that was kind of like what they were intending to do before so there's really just a ton of options okay, so this one moving on to the favorite mm um and monogram this one is a discontinued item so you can no longer buy it from louis vuitton directly you can definitely go through reseller shroud and um, there's a ton of them fashion file or you know facebook stuff like that um this one i got a couple years back i want to say 2018 yeah 2018 and it's still in really pristine condition it's one of those things that i have debated if i want to let it go or not and i'm always like going back and forth and i think it i haven't reached for it in a while not because i don't like it but because i just haven't i feel like i have other stuff that i have used um or i that i've used in the past couple of months and for some reason i just never reached for it and i don't know why because it's it's perfect size for me it's not very big it's super easy to use and I think um, I don't know why but it's not like that I have fallen and fallen out of love with it I still like it very very much and it's pretty it's pretty handy I just I don't know I just never reach for it um, anyway so the inside the outside is very similar to the pochette accessoire it's all canvas and then you have the gold plated um, thing here it says Louis Vuitton Paris and then when you open it, textile or cloth lining with this one, it is 
has one pocket right there and this one is a made in France piece and this is when they're still doing the before they change to the microchip one so this one has a date code um, it has this little piece right here it's not detachable it's detachable on one side but not on the other side so you can detach one side but you can't detach that one so I think if you want to there's a, also ton of ton of ways that you can wear this some people I've seen it where some people have worn it like this so very similar to how you would wear the pochette accessoire um, but with this with the, the tiny chain right here it's pretty substantial it doesn't feel cheap or anything like that some people would just wear it like that and then have the longer strap um, and then so if you really don't want it you can just hide it you can put it inside and then wear it like that i think that's kind of like how i've been wearing it when whenever i wear it i usually don't like have the chain showing okay so what can you fit um let's fit the same exact things and let's see if we can fit other stuff too so my key holder my card holder my two other extra card holders because a lot of you guys have a lot of cards right and then the sanitizer eye drops lip balm okay so there's that there's a plenty of space um for you to put your let's see maybe we can put our pochette matisse there oh no i keep saying pochette matisse our little pochette mini pochette can you fit that there comfortably? Well, you probably can if you move stuff around. So put that pochette, mini pochette, and then you just put your little items right there. Yeah. And it's fine. And then you put your strap. Of course, it can still fit your phone. There's plenty of space for the phone. I just, I wish I have more. I have a case. Ah, darn. Yes. I can't really show my phone because I usually film with it, but maybe next time I'll go find a case and then I can kind of like show that you guys can still put your phone in a lot of this items that I am reviewing. Um, okay. So just put it like so. Like so, okay. And there's that. Um, you can definitely, I feel like you can, because it's a bigger bag, you can fit a ton of stuff in here compared to the pochette accessoire. Um, it's still really comfortable. It's a good size for me as far as like what I would need in life at the moment. Um, it's not too heavy and Got plenty of space for that for items that you will ever need okay um, I'm not really sure about the price of this one now because a lot of the favorite MM that you would probably see online are going to be just kind of like a resale or resellers price and this being a you know it was a popular item I'm not sure if it's still popular but it was popular before so I don't know if it's like if it, they're going high on the pre-love market but it's definitely an option um this came in definitely dummy azure and dummy event too so all three three um patterns this one i know that it came in this and uh, the monogram i don't know if it came in dummy azure no no dummy event sorry this is dummy azure so Dami Azur and Monogram, I'm not sure if it came in Dami Ben. Okay. Um, all right. So which one would I choose if I have to choose between the two? That's kind of a hard one because I do like them both. But I think with my current lifestyle right now, I don't really carry a lot of things. And with the, um, I don't know, we just, for what I use, I think I would go, and I would prefer this one right here if I can only have one. Um, however, will I let go of this one if I can I can you have both? Of course you can have both. But I would personally prefer this one just because there's I don't know, I just like the shape of it a little bit better. I like that 
the close the closure is actually zipper so it's a lot more secure versus this one right here where it's just more of a flap so it's less secure and if you it's not like your items are gonna fall if it ever becomes like that but the security is less compared to the pochette accessoire um, even though it's not a really really big bag it's still it's bigger than the pochette accessoire so if you want a bigger one go for this if you want a little bit of a smaller one go for this one um, I just feel like because this has been discontinued it's just more if you want it, it has a little bit of that outdated kind of vibe to it although by no means this is like outdated this is really gorgeous and I don't even know if I should say outdated it's a gorgeous bag but it's just let's just say that um, it's not it hasn't been popular as popular as the pochette accessoire and I think part of it is because this is still in production and this one is not it's no longer in production um, what else this one if you if you want something that's not as common I feel like you don't see this as much so if you don't want to have the same bag as everyone then I would probably go for this one although even though this is really you know it's still in production I sh I don't want to say that it's like everywhere like you know a never full or a speedy you see it but it's not as common as those although this one is probably even less common uh what else I think those are pretty much it they are very similar so I like I like them both that's why I have them in my collection um, if you guys have any questions about the two bags that we talked about today um, let me know oh wait a minute I think as far as like measurements I didn't really measure this one although it is much bigger um, this one lengthwise is definitely let's see about like ten and a half length and five and a half height so very similar and then width is about two inches to one and a half so very similar but you can just fit a little bit you can fit a lot more a little bit more stuff in this one because it's also bigger okay all right so if you guys have any questions leave them down leave a comment down below um and i will see you guys on my next video thank you so much for watching and have a good day Bye bye